Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Betsy. And together we're As We Go. And today we invite you to join us as we take a look at our new portable refrigerator. Stay tuned. <music> We've got it out of the box. It's a Joy Tutus, Joy Tutus, Joy Tutus. It couldn't find the pronunciation for anything other than Tutu. So anyway, that's what it is. It's available on Amazon. We are not affiliates. We are. This is just our humble opinion and our unboxing. But we learned about this particular one from our good friends over at RV Texas, y'all. Uh, they did a great in-depth review on their channel. But anyway, this is what it looks like once we get it out of the box. They had the lid taped shut with a little note, which of course you can't see because I don't... Ah, piece of paper towel to the rescue. They had this little note taping the lid shut that just lets you know the refrigerator may have been inverted during delivery to make to ensure proper operation of the compressor. Please keep refrigerator standing upright for 12 hours before using it again. Well, that was easy. UPS delivered it yesterday afternoon, and it has been sitting more than 12 hours, because that was like 3 in the afternoon, 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's now 9 o'clock in the morning. So, we're going to open it up and show you what's what. Maybe. So, just pop that lid open. Well, there's a little chain that holds the lid from the flying back. Yeah, which is nice. Cool little um, thing here that gives you kind of storage temperature guidelines. Oh. Okay. So you can see it's two sections. This section here has no re direct refrigeration. It just gets its cold from the freezer compartment. And this basket lifts out. I thought there was a refrigerator compartment too, but maybe not. Well, it is, but it works like as if this was a block of ice in a cooler. Oh, okay. So it will be cool, but it derives its cold from this. So you can use it just as a refrigerator and not have it cool down to the Correct. point. Correct. You could just run it at 37 degrees, 38 degrees Fahrenheit. This must be all of the adapters and... Ah, there we go. Oh, there's the handles. It has handles to install, one on each end. Mm -hmm. There is the DC, the 12 volt power cord. And those outlets are on this back end here. There's direction. An empty box. There's the AC power supply. And, and the 12 volt one is here. Oh, right there. Okay. AC, DC. AC, DC. Not to be confused with that old rock group. Right. Handles. Those of you of a certain age, you'll get that reference. Yeah, I wonder what the red thing, the orange thing is. That's the tool for installing the handles. Oh, okay. There's a special tool. There's a special tool. Hmm. 14 and a half volts, 16 amps. Ooh, we even board. have the schematics in there. Cool. I will hand him the book so he can check out a couple of things. Oh, okay. I'll do a little tour of the unit. We bought the medium-sized one. It's roughly 40 what 42 quarts Ooh, I think. Yeah, something like that. mainly because we knew the biggest one would be way too big for us we wanted something we could easily handle here is your control panel and it runs it has an economy mode it'll tell you if it's running you can adjust your temperature plus or minus and you can change it from fahrenheit to centigrade and then down here this is the end where the compressor is you can see the vents it does seem pretty well made. I've heard people, you know, read some reviews that are not just on this particular unit brand, but a lot of them the same basic one, like, oh, it's just plastic. Well, it seems like pretty sturdy plastic. I'm not too worried about that. We're not planning on strapping it to the bumper and hoping it doesn't fall off. It does have a 15 amp fuse that's easily accessible, of course, where you plug in. And this cool little switch here is battery protection and that will when you're running it in your car or on regular 12 volt systems that uh, oh that's that protective film I think I can peel that off there but anyway on a regular battery lead acid type battery or an AGM 
you can set this and control how low your battery power can drop. If it gets too low, the unit, the fridge unit will automatically shut off so you don't totally kill your batteries, which is a very cool thing. Now I did come across another review on a different one, a brand on Amazon, uh, YouTube, and I forget who it was, sorry, but he pointed out that he was running lithium batteries and that funny little switch, it kept shutting the fridge off, even though lithium can be taken down a lot lower, it just couldn't interpret that. So if you are running on lithium, keep that in mind. So we have to install the handles, which is this cute oh, little bag here. I see the tool. Yeah. Well, Chris opens that bag. Pull it, yep. it is a good secure latch on this fridge top, by the way. Like I said, it's, you've got this, it'll hold something like the equivalent of 50, 60 cans of soda. That's a divider panel for inside the basket. And, ah, try to get that in there. Okay. Well, I'll fix it when I'm not trying to do it with my camera in hand. And the basket itself also loops out so that you can, you know, load the basket and then drop it in, or maybe not use the basket at all. But that is just kind of a nice feature to have. So I'm loosening there. up the screws that are in there. And then I can use this is a nice tool they send you. Wow. There. things about this particular model or this particular brand is the handles are whoa that's a nice strong spring in that yep. they're spring-loaded handles which means lots of room and you gain that much depth when you're trying to put it somewhere like the back of a Jeep or stowing it somewhere in your coach gives you a couple extra inches in length to uh, function around and yes, they do have the little caps that cover the screw holes. We just haven't put them in yet. Okay, one thing when you go into read directions. Yeah, we're not all 20 years old anymore with perfect vision. This thing's got some small print in the book. Here's what we just learned is this little snowflake. When it's white, you're running on maximum power. That's when it's driving about 65 watts, give or take a couple either way, to cool down. If you hit that snowflake and hold it a bit, it will turn to green. You have then placed this on econo mode, and it is drawing, what, 50 watts? 45 to 50 watts? <laughs> Where it's cooling down. While it's cooling down? Well, now it's like 46, 46 watts, 45 watts. Okay. It varies a little bit. So it, it will fluctuate a little and... Probably as it gets cooling, it will probably drop. Right. So anyway, it's so down to about 45 watts give or take a few as it continues to cool down in econo mode which is nice so press the key three seconds 